one of the things you always want to remember with the copper coating, the gold coating, the brass coating, the bronze coating, and the statue bronze coating, and the aluminum is this. You want to use a primer that's going to be close to that color. In other words, if I'm going to paint with the copper coating, I want to use a primer, in this case the red oxide primer, and when you apply the copper coating, what it does for you is that you don't need too much application of copper or brass, bronze, or statue bronze. If you're going to do, let's say, the statue bronze, in that case I would use the black oxide primer. Why? Because it's a dark finish and it's going to give you more to work with when it comes to the product. It's going to last longer. So, if you put a white primer on this piece right now, or a white primer on a statue bronze piece, which is almost a black paint, what's going to happen to you is that you're going to have to use more application. Because if you have a white background, you're going to have to use more copper or more bronze. So stick to the primer that's closest to your finish. That's the only reason we recommend all the time to use a primer that's close to that color. Now, it's very simple to apply. Our products are water-based products. so you can use a roller, you can use a brush, you can use an air sprayer. Now, let me show you a very simple technique how to use this. If you get your copper coating, you can use even a roller like this to give it highlight on, the, on this piece. As you're putting it on, you can highlight pieces like that. Now, you can also use the spray gun. In this case, I like to use the spray gun because this piece has a lot of detail in it. There's a lot of, uh, you know, a lot of grooves in it. So in order for me to use the roller, you know, it's going to take me a little longer. You can also use a brush though. Just remember that. But with the gun, it's much easier. Now, we always get asked this question. What kind of PSI do you use on your gun? You know, use judgment on that because we all use you know, our guns in a way where we really don't follow manufacturer, you know, suggestion. So, you know, do your application how you feel comfortable with it. I use the gun at around 45 to 50 PSI. That works for me. You know, it all depends what kind of compressor you have too. So, let me show you. It's very simple. When you spray it on, Again, this is at 45 to 50 PSI, and it comes out just perfectly fine. Now, another question we get asked all the time is this. What happens if I put water in? What happens if I reduce it with water? What happens is this, is that you weaken the product a lot. If you're going to use water, make sure you use water enough just to make sure that it comes out through the gun. Other than that, I do not recommend you using more water than what you supposed to on our products. But what I did here, with the gun or with the roller, you do with all the products. Another unique thing that you can do with our products, which is the copper, the gold, the brass, the bronze, and the statue bronze, is that you can apply our patinas. The three patinas that we have is the patina oxidizer, the aqua blue oxidizer, and the verde green oxidizer. How this works is like this. You can spray your copper on, and while it's wet, that's when you spray your patina oxidizer, any of the three. Again, the patina, the aqua blue, and the verde green. What they do for you is that they're going to give you a slight difference in shades of the turquoise green. That's what they do for you. Very easy application. Spray the copper. Once it's sprayed, go ahead and use one of the three patinas. Spray it on. Now, it's going to take a few minutes for you to start noticing that change of color. And it will go from this copper right here to start turning green on your piece. Don't go crazy on the patina oxidizers because this is what happens. If you spray too much, then you're going to overwhelm the copper on the piece or the brass or the bronze, whatever you're using. And then you're going to just overwhelm that color and you just want to look at, you know, a green patina. If that's what you want, perfect. But be careful because a lot of people don't like doing that. They, don't, they like to see some of the copper or some of the brass showing. Now, once you spray your patina on, if you see, if you live on, if you're, if you're in a city in a dry climate like ours here, 
there's hardly any humidity during the winter and so we need to spray things with water to reactivate the chemicals on one of the things that works perfectly with our product is water so when you spray your patina on if it's not turning green you know very quickly go ahead and mist it with water what the water is going to do is going to reactivate the salts on the patina and it's really going to take off on you so it's going to turn green very quickly and that's you know that's one of those trade secrets that not a lot of people know so it's it'll start changing you know in front of your eyes within minutes so that's how you do this one now as far as the application equipment right here is room temperature all you need to use is either a water bottle like this one where you can put your patina in make sure make sure and this is very important that you label your product you do not want somebody coming over seeing a green patina and, and think it's a, thinking it's cooling so be careful you know every time you remove our product from our bottles make sure that you put the label on right away and put it in a safe place common sense that's all it's required so you can use a bottle like that one you can use a bottle like this one right here for you guys that are in the contracting business and you're doing a fence or you're doing anything like that you can use a garden sprayer like this one this one works perfectly again remember the name of the product is patina oxidizer aqua blue oxidizer so you don't want to use anything that has metal in it that's why these pumps work perfectly because they're all made out of plastic so any questions let us know